Hi everyone, it's Claudia and welcome back to Catching Claudia. I know it's been a very long time since I've sat down and talked to you all, but I just want to say thank you to everyone who's supported me throughout this time and also my new subscribers. So I felt like this was the perfect time for me to sit down and talk to you all and just reintroduce myself. Halfway to Mexico, halfway to Tokyo, on this open road. I really have been thinking about this for such a long time. I've been wanting to come back and post on my video or post on my channel, but I've been scared. Um, yeah. So when it comes to having a non-traditional dream and what I mean by that, I always say to people, if you want to be a doctor, yes, it's hard, but there are steps in place to be a doctor. If you want to be a lawyer, there's steps in place to be a lawyer. When you want to be a creator or someone in communication or something like that, it's not as simple because there aren't people who can give you that step-by-step -step guide on how to get there or how to get to where you want. So yes, there are ways to get there, but there's no direct instruction manual. So when I was living abroad in Spain, I was already going against a lot of people who wanted me to pursue a more traditional role. But ultimately, I chose what I wanted to do. Living abroad was a dream for me. I wanted to live abroad ever since I was, I could say, maybe not first grade. That's when I was first introduced to outside of America. I mean, I guess maybe before then, but first grade is when I started understanding, oh, this is how I would get there. This is how I do that. So living abroad was really a dream. I spoke that into existence. I was always like, I would love to live in a different country one day. I think that'd be so cool. Um, so doing that program really was an amazing opportunity. And I'm so glad that I did it when I did because the world changed. Yes, that program is still out there and I do still get messages about the program. Um, so if you ever want to DM me about it, go ahead, right ahead. I do answer questions all the time. But um, it was such a dream and it was such a non-traditional dream, especially coming from the family that I come from. So... Doing that, getting my hopes up, living that dream, and then the world fell apart. It was like, okay, I don't know what to do now. I had my list of every single video I was going to do until my program ended. I mean, Tuesday, Thursday, a full notebook written out, ready to post at my schedule. I was motivated. I was ready because I could see that vision for myself. Um, and now I things have shifted. I've changed. I've grown. I actually have a gray hair now, <laughs> which going from starting my channel as a junior in college to taking this break and now doing this, it's like, wow, I've really grown older, grown somewhat wiser. I mean, of course, I still have a lot to learn, but um, it's really important to me to give it another shot. This is something that was a big dream for me and still is to be able to have my own platform, to be able to share my ideas, my thoughts, things that I like and have a community to do that with. So I do hope that you all will continue with me on this journey. Right now I'm still in the discovery phase. I think that the past two years I had to sit down. I was so excited to start filming my videos again. I actually built a studio in my old apartment. Um, but I was also in grad school and working full time and I greatly, greatly underestimated that. I really thought that I could just sleep less or see my friends a little bit less and that worked for maybe a month and then I needed to lock in and focus and I achieved that goal. I always said I wanted to get my master's. 
I knew I didn't immediately want to go into getting a master's degree, but I knew that that would be a trajectory for me, and I did it. Maybe I'll pursue even a higher degree than that, but I knew I wanted to pursue a master's degree, and I'm really glad that I did. Um, it's opened a lot of doors for me. But anyway, I just wanted to kind of be real about that because I don't think people talk about as much not only is being a creator hard, but having to go against people who want you to do that traditional thing and sticking into your goal and your dream and having to visualize and having to manifest that. So anyway, I hope that you all continue to come along with me on this journey because I'm excited to share with you. I've learned a lot. Um, my master's was in strategic communication. So now I have even both sides. I have a journalism degree and now I have the other side, the marketing, the communication. And I want to share that. I learned a lot. I think I, at this point, am an expert and I need to be able to put that somewhere and really put myself out there in that way. Also, I am still traveling. I've done a lot of United States travel this year. I don't really plan on leaving the country. Last year, I did go to Paris for my graduation trip. Might throw in a throwback vlog for that because I it was a great trip and I never put the video together. Um, so yeah, you all are definitely going to see that. And as I continue, I still have the goal of traveling to all 50 states. I wanted to do it before I turned 25 but now i'm just like i just want to do it so hopefully i'll get to do it sooner rather than later i'm at this point i want to say at state number 37 um i do have a few redos i want to do I've, i want to go to west virginia again which shouldn't be hard it's actually in driving distance from here i want to go to the northeast again um just to actually be in those states, I kind of did a road trip. So I really do hope that we can do it together and maybe other, maybe other people can join me as well. Do you want to go to all 50 states? Um, and lastly, I am going to be actually uploading some singing content. I got a lot of followers from my singing content and I've always been really shy about it. Um, I always knew that I liked singing, I liked performing, but I think not having like a choir or something like that really did put me in my shell because I wasn't used to performing on my own. Um, but now I think I'm ready to try to pursue that as well. So I will be dropping an occasional music cover, yeah, a cover. Or even maybe my own music eventually. But first I want to just get back into the flow of singing and making something my own. And I hope you all enjoy that. So those will be some of the pillars of my content moving forward. And I really can't wait to share it with you all. I think this is just a fun space for me that I've created as an outlet. And I just want to see if I put in the effort and really put myself out there and don't let, you know, I don't let my fear or my feeling of being cringe hold me back, then I will definitely do well. So that is what I plan on doing. And I hope that you all enjoy it. Thank you again for being such an incredible part of this journey. I'm thrilled to be back and I can't wait to just sit down and talk to you all about life and the other content that we have moving forward. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Halfway to Mexico, halfway to Tokyo.